Ranking the best defensive tackles in Madden 23. We are back here with another tier list update. Today, we're going to be re-ranking the best defensive tackles in Madden 23 Ultimate Team. Now, before we do want to head re-rank the old cards and rank the new cards, I do want to go ahead and shout out the comment of the day. Now, given the cards we're going to cover today, I do think there's an entirely new S tier, so I'm going to drop everyone down a single tier. Now, the first card we're going to go over, though, is going to be Team Captain Sam Adams that did get upgraded. So, Sam Adams now, 88 speed 92 excel great power moves 80 finesse moves a little bit low but great block check great impact blocking gets every single team chem of course again he is a team captain and the traits bull rush and swim move on yes but what's big on this card now is the discount ability so he can now potentially get like a zero ap deflator a zero ap crusher you can't be mad at a zero ap ability but he is a one ap don player one ap el toro uh with slightly lower finesse moves i think the card plays good to me he is uh, one of the best cards in b I really do like Sam Adams. Maybe I could see him A. But A tier, they all get some uh, pretty good uh, zero AP abilities. So for that reason, he's just going to be top in the B for me. Now we are going to start out with some slightly lower overalls. First one we got is 90 overall David on Yamada. 75 speed, 81 excel, 78 finesse moves, 90 power moves good. The block shed's good as well with decent impact blocking. Bull rush trade on yes and again though no discounted abilities so this card for me um given the no discounts he has to go f after that we get into some 93s first one up right here is travis jones travis jones pretty decent physical stats with 83 speed 80 excel but the pass rush really isn't there and i mean he has good block shit good impact blocking and i should have said this earlier when we were talking about pass rush traits but if you click onto the video and you don't know what pass rush traits are what they do the more on yes in my opinion the better the more on yes leads to more insta winning just overall better pass rush in general now there are certain times where travis jones right only has bull rush on yes say potentially had like 90 power moves that would be pretty good for him because he basically won't use the finesse moves and only use the power moves so some cards have really good traits like that where it really takes advantage of their one higher overall rating for travis jones though again no pass rush gonna be f tier after that we get into parry on winfrey parry on winfrey 81 speed 87 excel pretty good physical stats i know the agility and change of direction aren't there but i think speed and excel most important for especially like defensive linemen now no finesse moves and somewhat okay power moves good block shit good impact blocking this time though does have bull rush and swim move on yes he is going to go ahead and use his finesse moves so for that reason parry on winfrey for me again is going to go up in this f tier and right after that we get davon Godchow, dolphins legend right here with 72 speed 76 excel 89 finesse moves 82 power moves good block shit good impact blocking now for traits bull rush and swim move on yes doesn't have a pass rush move over 90 so again i don't just want to keep like putting everyone in here and no discount ability so he I, I just don't think he's as good as the people in d so he is gonna go f now we bump it on up a little bit to 94 overalls we got time mcgill right here that had a really good uh, team of the week card at the beginning of the year but 78 speed 82 excel really good power moves finesse moves not really there block shed and impact blocking are good though so really only finesse moves on this card that are bad but he does only have the bull rush trade on yes so this is a card that could potentially play a lot better now for his uh discount abilities he can get a zero ap demoralizer or one ap inside stuff i don't think it is great i don't think he is a top end defensive tackle in the game i do not think he is terrible though i'm going to put him d tier i don't think he's as good as the people in c but yeah i mean d tier is a pretty good spot for him after that we get brian brise right here this is one of my favorite cards i'm not saying he's gonna rank really high or i think he's the best but i really love this card so he's 90 speed 94 excel crazy good physical stats for a defensive tackle 80 finesse moves with 93 power moves great block shit impact blocking can get every single team chem and also only has the bull rush trade on yes so that may be why he plays so good for me for his abilities though he's a 1 ap don player but he can't get 0 ap run stopper i really like the 0 ap run stopper on him i don't think he is going to be a for me ah oh, man this is tough i kind of want to put him a tier he's someone again like a zero ap under pressure is better a zero ap el toro zero ap inside stuff ah oh, this is tough man he's either the best card in b for me or he is a i'm gonna go ahead and lean say best card in b I do like him more than Sam Adams. I do. Now we get the Goose. Comp pass player reward right here. 84 speed, 88 excel. Great pass rush right here. 98 power moves. Great block check. Great impact blocking. Six foot three, 340 for traits. Only the bull rush trade on yes. Now this is where it gets a little bit crazy because he is someone that can get zero AP double or nothing. That is really really great and he can also get zero ap uh defensive rally too he is someone that gets an insane zero ap ability and for right now he will go ahead and go s tier for me now i will say he may come down and you might be like why would he come down it's either we're gonna make a new top tier or this card comes down and it's gonna be really really tough now we got 96 overall dj jones 78 speed 80 excel 
Not the best finesse moves, but good power moves, good block check, good impact blocking, and for traits, only the bull rush trait on yes is a card that could play a lot better than the 71 finesse moves would suggest. For his abilities this time, he's a zero AP run stopper player. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put DJ Jones in the B tier, and I'm gonna move Brian Brise up. I just really, really, really like this card. I could potentially move Sam Adams up as well. He just doesn't get a crit. Like, zero AP run stopper is actually good. After that, we get big Vince. Vince Woolfork, six foot two, 325, 84 speed, 88 excel, with 80 finesse moves, great power moves, block shed, impact blocking. Now, four traits, only the bull rush trade on yes. So, this is a card that could play absolutely amazing. Again, the, the finesse moves, I don't think you have to be worried about. Now, for his discount abilities, I know it looks like he can't get any. He can't get any for zero, right? But he can potentially get one AP edge strat, one AP El Toro. He gets everything for one AP, which I do think hurts his value. This is a card that I will say again, I think he is better than Sam Adams, but I'm going to go ahead again, have him in the B tier, just kind of like missing out on like the zero AP abilities that I'm looking for in A tier. And right after that, we have Tier Tart. Tier Tart, 86 speed, 91 XL. Really, really great. Decent finesse moves. Uh, 86 isn't bad. 97 power moves, 97 block shit, 97 impact blocking though. Finesse moves are a slight red flag, but let's check his traits right here. He does have bull rush. He does have swim move on. Yes, yeah, so he's going to use both of those. For his abilities though, one AP Don, zero AP inside stuff. Um, Yeah, he's going to be uh, right by Hello Nada for me. I think this Tier Tart card, I know he's not a big name, but I do think he is a slug on i don't think he's bad at all he's gonna go right by hello Nada for me he is gonna go up in this a tier now we're moving on up to 98 overalls the first one we got right here is the fridge William Perry. So he's 6'2", 335. Really good physical stats with 97 XL, 99 power moves, 98 block shed, 99 impact blocking. Now four traits. He does have the swim move trait on yes, but this is a card that always has low finesse moves, but I swear he plays so good. He plays really, really good. Now for his abilities though, he is a zero AP double or nothing player. He can get one AP inside sub, zero AP El Toro as well. He is someone that I do really, really like a lot, just how they play. I feel like he is just huge pause, but um, yeah, he is going to go S tier for me. Love the zero AP double or nothing right by the goose and the goose might be a little bit better. Now we get 98 overall DeForest Buckner. DeForest Buckner is always one of my favorite defensive tackle cards and I'll tell you why in a second. Now speed and Excel wise amazing. He's six foot seven. The unique thing about him though is he is always like higher in finesse moves compared to power moves and a lot of like just defensive tackles just aren't and you can treat this card kind of like a defensive end. Great block shed, great impact blocking, has great stats. Only the swim move trade on yes. So he is only going to use this 98 finesse move rating too. So I feel like that's why he plays so good. Four abilities, zero AP under pressure, zero AP speedster, zero AP run stopper, zero AP adrenaline rush. He's basically like an upgraded version of like Sap and Brian Brise. So for that reason, I will go ahead and put him S tier. Now, I don't think he gets as good of an ability as like zero AP Don on like Perry or the Goose, but stats wise and everything, I feel like he's deserving to be right here. I think he plays at an S tier level. Now we get team of the year, Chris Jones. Chris Jones, six foot six, 300 pounds, 87 speed, 93 XL. Great finesse and power moves, block shed, impact blocking. These are basically in game stats. And Chris Jones is another card that I think plays really, really good. For his traits this time, has bull rush and swim move on yes. And this time for his abilities, he can get one AP down, one AP El Toro, uh, zero AP under pressure. Again, he's essentially like a little bit better than Warren Sapp. Wish some of these abilities right here were a zero AP given the game's trajectory and everything. So I do like him. I think I, I'm going to go ahead and again have him S here. He doesn't get the great discounted abilities like Sarah Goose or William Perry. Now we get 98 overall Derek Brown. This is where things get a little bit crazy. So Derek Brown, 6'5", 320, 86 speed, 88 XL. Finesse moves, okay, they don't hit 90, but 95 power moves, 98 block shed, 98 impact blocking. And for traits, has the bull rush and the swim move trait on yes. But this card is ridiculous. So potentially in this spot right here, he can get zero AP double or nothing. Keep that in mind. And he can also combo that with zero AP inside stuff. Double or nothing and inside stuff for zero. That is absolutely insane. He can also get edge threat elite for one. Like this card is the best defensive tackle in the game. And for that reason, it's either I drop everyone from S into A and A into B and then C and then so on like this. But we're just going to go ahead and uh, make a, a new tier for uh, Derek Brown. And it's going to be this uh, S plus tier right here. He is by far and away the best defensive tackle in the game, in my opinion. He is ridiculously good. After that, we get 98 overall Dalvin Tomlinson, 85 speed, 90 XL, really great power moves, block shed and impact blocking. Finesse moves a little bit low. He can get every single team chem though. And he does only have the bull rush on yes, so this could lead to him playing a little bit better. But four abilities, uh, doesn't really get 
anything that I like. Zero AP reach lead, zero AP goal line stuff. I think this is a very, very mid card. Is C tier crazy? I would run Dexter Lawrence over him. I don't think C tier is crazy. I, give me Dexter Lawrence over the card. I know he's a 98, but I, I don't really think he's that great. And for the final card of the video, we got John Madden that any team can get. He's 93 speed, 96 Excel, gets every single team kim. So if you run a theme team, looking at something that could be 95 speed, 98 Excel, great finesse, great power moves. Oh, wait, did I mention also free agent track card? He would be 96 speed and also block shit, impact blocking, all amazing. The one thing that sucks about the card though is no traits on yes. That is a very much a red flag. And th th that's kind of what makes him not in game. They kind of did him dirty on that. And a lot of people, if you don't pay attention to that, you wouldn't really like notice. But I think he does play good. He does get zero AP inside stuff. Get one AP edge threat elite, one AP El Toro. I like him. I'm not saying he's bad. He is going to go S tier for me right now, just given his speed and everything. But I do like some of the people over him in this tier. This is probably going to be my order for the S tier. And yeah, y'all, this was my thoughts on the defensive tackle position in Madden 23 Ultimate Team. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. What do you agree with? What do you disagree with? Who do you think should go up? Who do you think should come down? If you did enjoy this video, though, you enjoy content like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to stay up to date with the best cards in Madden 23. Now, if you want to see me use some of these cards live, check the links in the description. Hit that Twitch with the follow. We've been grinding the streams over there, so I greatly appreciate that. Now, if you don't feel like heading over to Twitch, you want another video to watch check this one out right here this was my Jalen Waddle gameplay